Okay, I will show you guys how we can use calculus to approximate this right here. And keep in mind, calculus, not calculators, okay? Check this out. We have 2.02 to the third power minus 4 times 2.02 to the second power and then plus 3. As you can see, this and that are the same. And in fact, 2.02 is the number that causes us the trouble. Because if we just have a 2 right here and here, it's just a whole number. It's so much easier, right? So this is how we can do it. Let's replace them with x and then we'll define a function because imagine we're using calculus. We will have to do some derivative. We need a function first. So check this out. Let f of x be equal to the function x to the third power minus 4 times x to the second power. And the 3 is innocent. We'll just say plus 3. All right. And notice that if this right here is indeed equal to 2, that means we will just have f of 2. And let's see what that value is. f of 2 is just going to be 2 to the third power minus 4 times 2 to the second power and then plus 3. We can actually do this in your head. Check this out. This is 8 and then this is 4 times 4 which is 16. 8 minus 16 is negative 8 and then plus 3 is altogether we just get negative 5. Yeah. See? And in fact, this is not so bad from here because 2 versus 2.02, they are not too far away. So we can see that this and that mm, should be pretty close, but we can of course do better. In fact, I'll show you guys two ways that we can approach this from this point on. The first way is called the linearization. And this right here is just a fancier way to say that we'll be using a tangent line. Well, we want a line, an equation for line. So we need a point and also the slope, right? The point is 2 comma negative 5 because this is the one that we know. And we just have to see from there, draw the tangent line, and then hopefully use that to approximate this. So let me write that down for you guys first. The point that we have is 2 comma negative 5. So that's very nice. And what's the slope? Well, the slope of the tangent line is exactly the derivative. I told you, when calculus, we have to do some derivative. That's why we have to have a function. <laughs> so the slope is just going to be f prime, and we want to use 2. So let's go ahead and differentiate this right here. f prime of x is going to be, OK, we get 3x squared minus 8x, and then the derivative of plus 3 is just 0, so this is what we have. And then from here, let's plug in 2, and then we will get 3 times 2 square minus 8 times 2. OK, let's see. This is 4 times that is 12 minus 16. We get negative 4. So that's the derivative. And then, OK, that's the slope. Cool. And then now from here, we can just go ahead and use the points to form of the line, right? So that's y minus y1. And uh, we'll just have negative 5. Let me actually write down the formula for you guys. And then this is the slope times x minus x1. And the Google algebra days. How cool is this, right? Anyway, y minus y1, which is this, that's negative 5. And then the m is negative 4. And then x is x, and then minus x1 is 2. Cool. And then just work this out. y plus 5 equals distribute, we get negative 4x plus 8. And then move the 5, and then we get y equals negative 4x plus 3. So this right here is the tangent line equation. And in fact, that's just the linearization. And if you want to be fancy a little bit, we will just say this right here is the L of x. Yeah. So here's the deal. This is our function, and this is our expression. Well, this expression is precisely we plug in 2.2 into all the x here. And here's the deal. To get f of 2.02. I'm sorry, I think I said 2.2, but you know, I meant to say 2.02. This right here is going to be approximately equal to L of 2.02. From here, we can just go ahead and plug in 2.02 into here. And it's going to be much easier because we just have to multiply and then add. Yeah? So this right here, okay, it's equal to, and this is how we read the uh, statement like this. So this is equal to the following. I will plug in this right here. We get negative 4 times 2.02 .02 and then plus 3. Okay, 
This is negative 8.08 plus 3. We get negative 5.08. So, ladies and gentlemen, this would be a much better approximation to this than that. All right, so that's it. Hmm, here's a second way to go about this. And that way, it's called the differential. So let me just write that down for you guys. And of course, there are other methods, but this is mainly for calculus 1. So what's a differential? Differential is that dy is equal to the derivative of the function, and then we multiply by dx. So this right here is the differential formula. And the idea is the following. Again, this is our function, and we really want f of 2.02. .02. But at the moment, we only know this, of course. Pretend we didn't do that. So we are going to utilize this right here to help us out with that. Ideally, we know that this right here will be f of 2, and then we just have to add the change in the y value, and that will be it. And the exact change of the y value is denoted by delta y. This right here is the exact change in the y value from this x value to that x value. But if you know how far you have to go up or how far you have to go down, then you can get to the new y value. Done. But the problem is that this right here we don't know. But it's okay, because the delta y is approximately the same as dy, which is this right here. So delta this is delta y, it's approximately the same as dy, and dy is approximately change by using derivative, and the derivative, the fancier way for that is just a differential. And we don't f of 2 is that, but for now, I will still write it as f of 2. All right? So f of 2.02 .02 will be approximately equal to this, and now our goal is just to figure out what dy is. So let's go ahead and compute that right here. Well, our y is just going to be our function, so let me write down x to the third power minus 4x squared and then plus 3. And our x value is going to be at 2. And we also need the dx. So what's the dx though? dx is the change in the x value. Here is what we know, right, the 2. And we want to get to 2.02. .02. So the change in the y in the x value it's 0 0.02 <laughs> all right and now let's just go ahead and do this work so here we go dy is equal to take the derivative the usual way we get 3x squared minus 8x but of course if we're talking about differential we'll just have to put a dx right here that's a differential and now we just have to plug in plug in so dy is going to be 3 times 2 and then we square that minus 8 times x is 2, and then dx is that, which is 0 0.02. Now let's work this out. This is 4 times 3 is 12, minus 16. So this is negative 4, and then we multiply this by 0 0.02. So this right here is negative 0 0.08. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is equal to negative 5, and then dy is that, and it's precisely equal to that, right? dy is that. So that's minus 0 0.08. Combine them, we get negative 5.08. And in fact, we have the same answer because technically they are the simple, they are pretty much the same approximation, just that how you approach them, how you write them out, that's all. And if you would like, I invite you guys, go ahead and compute this by hand. Just work on everything. And let me know how that goes. But anyway, that's it.